Chapter 9 Overview The Land of Opportunity Between 1820 and 1920, over 15 million Europeans leave their own countries and go to live somewhere else. It is the greatest movement of population in history. Of these 50 million, 35 million choose to come to the United States of America. Finish? The reasons for coming are not so very different from those of your pilgrims and the other colonists, immigra immigrants too. Every one of them, there is plenty of land and it is cheap. There is a job for anybody who wants to work. In the land, of opportunity, everybody has equal rights. The American Constitution says so. Until the until the middle of the 19th century, most of the immigrants are English or Swedish or German politicians who fit into American life quickly and easily. But in 1846, a plant disease destroyed all the potatoes in Ireland. A million Irish died of um, hunger, and a million more leave their country forever. Many of them go to the United States. Americans don't welcome the Roman Catholic Irish as worry as they do, the, they do the English or the Germans, the Irish have, have to take the jobs that nobody else wants. They build the roads, dig the coal, carry the, carry the bricks. They continue to do the hard work of the nation united. Another big immigrate shown brings Poles, Russia, Polish, and Russia Je Jews, Hungarians, Italians, Greeks, Portuguese, Romanians, Bulgarians, Lithuanians, Ukrainians, and many, many others. These people have the same hopes that and dreams as those who arrive before them. They also want a better life. But the immigrants from Southern and Eastern Europe are even less welcome than the Irish. They don't speak English. Their religion and their customs are different. Their customs are strange. Was they are willing to work hard for some for so little money that American workers fear immigrants are going to take away their jobs. Yeah. Bad feeling against immigrants grows in nineteen twenty four. Congress makes makes a law to limit immigration. To do that, Congress set quotas, which are the numbers of people allowed to enter the United States from all other countries. These quotas allowed in many more immigrants from Great Brit Britain and Germany than they do from Russia or Italy. Very few Asians or Africans are permitted to come in. Uh, immigration from Mexico and Latin America is much harder to control because it's not too difficult to get across the border. The big farmers don't really want to control it because uh, these are the people who do farm work. Especially after World War I uh, begins, uh, they need as many farm workers as they can get. Mm -hmm. So it is unjust. The 1924 Act of Congress to limit immigration remains. The law of the United States 
for more than 40 years, but slowly, American trade with Asian countries become very important. This helps change the migration laws. In 1965, another act of Congress removes the quota laws to admit great numbers of Asians, Japanese, Chinese, Filipinas, Koreans, Indians, Pakistanis, and Pacific Islanders. Mm -hmm. And a few years later, and a few years later, Vietnam. 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 Yeah. The land of opportunity. Between 1820 and 1920, over 50 million <coughs> Europeans leave their own countries and go to live somewhere else. It is the greatest movement of population in history. Of these 50 million, 35 million choose to come to the United States of America.